starting to really bite now. Two minutes into the final two minutes of running. That'll be just under two laps of the track. Mo Farah with that finishing speed, of course, that he is known for over all those years, those Olympic gold medals, the world titles. This is a challenge of a completely different order. Abdi stringing him round, and maybe this is just what Gabriel Selassie there left of picture maybe this is just what mo farah needed it's going to be very very tight indeed the little cushion that they have is lessening they haven't got as much of a margin it's going to be a lights out last minute and it's almost as if the ghost of gabri selassie is coming out to haunt them they can't see that superimposed picture 20 seconds to the gun and at the gun there'll be exactly a minute to go Will there be another world record here in Brussels this evening? We've had one in the women's race to start with. Let's get ready for the gun coming in five seconds time and then it'll be lights out. Here it is. Here's the gun. 60 seconds to go. The world record is on and Mo Farah is away. Psychologically, is that the last lap of the track? He'll be able to eke out perhaps one more lap of the track just about. 50 seconds to go, 45 seconds. Mo Farah just takes a, a glance over the clock. 40 seconds left. How much further can he go? Trying to just squeeze out every last meter, every last centimeter. 30 seconds to go. Abdi is gone. Mo Farah, barring any accident, should win the race. And Mo Farah will become a world record holder. Mo Farah has 20 seconds to eke out as much as he can here in Brussels. He's an Olympic champion. He's a world champion. He's the British record holder at every distance between 1,500 metres and the marathon. And here he is, turning it on in style. Six seconds to go. Olympic champion, world champion. And now Mo Farah is a world record holder. The gun goes. It's all over. And Mo Farah has made history here in Belgium. What a performance.